Hey there, high school football fans. This is Brian Fonville with a recap of the October 12th Waco Lions Crowley Eagles football game. Waco High traveled up to Crowley to face the Eagles, who were coming in at 4 and 1 overall and 2 and 0 in District 8 4A play. We began just a few minutes into the game when Crowley struck first. Third and goal. Now he sends a man in motion from left to right. Marner's going to keep it. He rolls right. Now he's going to throw into the end zone. He's got a man who catches it in the end zone. Touchdown, Crowley. Touchdown, Crowley. Marner rolled right and threw it to a man wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Ben Diaz, Waco High's All-State kicker, was clutch, kicking two field goals in the first half, including this one from 50 yards. Snaps back, holds down, kicks up. It's got the distance. And it is good! A 50-yard field goal for Ben Diaz. Takes our score 7-3 with 2.50 to go. Crowley on top of Waco High, 7-3 with 2.50 to go in the first quarter. Crowley's senior running back, Larry Cheeks, who rushed for 172 yards, scored the first of his two touchdowns on a 53-yard run in the first quarter to make it 13-3. But Josh Porter blocked the extra point attempt, and Donald Webb picked up the blocked kick and took it 85 yards for two Waco High points. Then Crowley seized the momentum back midway through the second quarter. Matt Marner, the senior quarterback for Crowley, comes out in the shotgun formation. Twin receivers to the right and to the left. Now Cheek will come in motion to the left side. Marner, play action, looks into the end zone, wide open, touchdown. Touchdown, Crowley. Grant Chapman, the 5'11", 160-pound senior, just got open in the middle of the field, and Marner hit him in stride for a Crowley touchdown, and that'll bring the score to 19-8. to Crowley with 7.56 left to play second quarter. Trailing 28-8 late in the third quarter, Waco High fought back. With 140 remaining in the third quarter, this score cut it to a two-touchdown game. 140 now to play and clock counting. Second and goal, Waco High knocking on the door. One receiver right, one left, handoff, up the middle. No, Moore's going to keep it. He's going to roll into the end zone for a touchdown. A Waco High touchdown, a keeper by Traynham Moore. That gets a Waco High a little bit closer. It's going to make it 28-15. to 15. Crowley looked like it had iced the game when it drove 75 yards on 11 plays and scored on a Matt Marner quarterback keeper to take a 13-point lead with five minutes to play but Waco High would not go quietly. On the ensuing drive, Trey Bodges had two huge receptions, one on fourth and long to pick up the first down, another to set up this touchdown run to make it a six-point game. Trina Moore lines up in the shotgun, Christian Sims in the backfield, 105 and counting in this game. Here's the handoff, Christian Sims dances to his left, he jumps, he's in the end zone, touchdown Waco High with 59 seconds to play. Trailing by six with 59 seconds to play, Waco High recovered an onside kick at the Crowley 30-yard line, but the Crowley defense stiffened and Waco High would come up six points short, falling to Crowley 35-29, while bringing their district record to 1-2. and two. Waco High is still very much in contention for a playoff spot and faces their crosstown rival, the University Trojans, this Friday night, October 19th, at Waco ISD Stadium. Pre-game begins at 7.15 and kickoff at 7.30. We'll be broadcasting the game live, so join us on 104.9 The Beat in Waco or listen on the web at www.centraltexasbeat.com.